Now I have to meet Bertram Tang and Nosferatu. Someone like the monster, like my sire. Yeah? I. In Foxy Boxes, the vampire, he saw me. And I am totally stressed out because they see me. I can feel it. Pure stress. And now, when I see this Nosferatu, will I jump in his face? I have to get a hold of me. Yeah, it was in downtown that I survived. But now there's a warehouse to be blown up. Um, I am a Nosferatu now, and I need those guys. They are my clan, and I don't want to get die. I see he's there. Um, I think the beast took over because this freaking Asian dude he saw me, he um, watched me, he expected me, and I couldn't handle that. I need to get better at sneaking. Um, and I need to get myself together. I cannot be aggressive against other of my kind. I do want to live. I do want to live. So, let's go. Here goes nothing. Hey. Oh. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? I. You knew. I was looking for you. I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. You must be back from tongue. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. You do? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. That's great, so you know I survived. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to that warehouse for Mercurio. Mercurio? Hmm. Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Right, but can you get me inside? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. I was born ready. Let's go. Here, take this map. Use it to navigate the sewer mains. You'll sewer? never be able to use public transportation with that face, so uh, oh. get used to jogging in the slop. And stop back oh by later. God, yeah. I might have use for a young Nosferatu like yourself. In the slop. Thanks. Maybe I will... You ready to go? Uh, I get... I go home and then you pick me off, okay? It's nearly day. The day is coming, man. Okay, here I am. It was quite nice talking to the Nosferatu. I didn't feel so much stress. He could look at me and it wouldn't hurt me but I better concentrate now for what I have to do going into sewers at 
more points in my life. Yeah, I need some blood. Uh, uh, yeah. I hope you are a bad guy. Shouldn't go on the toilets with uh, a gun if you're not a bad guy. Okay, what's there? Huh, ammunition. Okay. This doesn't look like a warehouse. Yeah, I have to get there. And another. Not to be seen. Easy when they are there. Ah. I get... Ah. I get problems with my vision, I think. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in yeah. everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard, but what the fuck? We get the kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Hmm. Okay. I think I don't want to kill all of you. I will just vanish in the shadows. Don't come near, man. Ah. Ah, there's a ladder. On top is mostly the right choice. Okay, he will see me. I don't trust up your skate. Too much. I have to learn. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. Okay, I hope this leads me to the promised land. The middle of the warehouse, yes? What's there? Oh, a ring. No, nothing more. Huh. Who left that here? Whoa. I think I have to get there. Mm. Ah, the beams. Or should I drop down here? No, no. I think I go across the beams to look. How many there are? Where are they gonna deliver it, numb nuts? So many people. So many a holes. No, no one's going anywhere while we're sitting on this ship. Yeah, I think this walkway over there is the right point to start. Don't fall. Beate, be careful. Uh, I should find another name to call myself. The art isn't the right option here in uh, America. It sounds too much like beat me. Okay, is this the middle? Let's find out. I think the layout shows, uh, yes, this is the right place. <laughs> what was that? And... Yes. Do I put the explosives here? Yeah, I think so. I will raise my voice at some point, and it will be a very loud one. Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, 
<laughs> this power of obvious kate is very useful. I can just walk out of here. And then I see Bertram again and I would have questions about the Nosferatu. I don't want to die, I don't want to suffer. I want to Yeah. Uh, no matter, no matter how I look. Hey, you see something out there? Where? Out there in the train. I swear I saw something moving. Ain't nothing out here. You just, just didn't see me. John. Yeah, what? right. Shit, I ain't scared of nothing. Scared <laughs> for whoever decides to come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waving <laughs> that thing around. Fucking come take a look at me. You trying to blow us up or something? Now we fucking scared. Obvious Kate is very fun. I do like it. Being like a shadow. Saying while I appear. <laughs> oh, those guys will all die. What? The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? Uh, what the... are you a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. Um, who are you and why, and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se... We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same Beach. time. For different reasons. Tindra. So sorry Beach. if I unnerved you. You're the wolf. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Everything, but I met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. You saw them too. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Other than that, I really haven't seen anything extraordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts. So I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Mm. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. I or can never trust again. You. Good night, young one. If I and die. be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. That's how I could die. Night, Beckett. Huh. Nice. Nice dude. So, if I turn around, I see Paro. Yes? There you are. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. Very funny. Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Uh, I heard he was in town. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our... condition. Hmm... Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? Um, serial killer? Have you heard about the serial killer? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. 
Probably some Kate of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. Sheriff? Oh, you mean that big peluca who cut off my sire's head? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Yeah. I got a few more questions. Like what? About the clans, I think. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Yeah, another clan. I need to know about us. Mm. Tell me about the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Such a lucky me. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Are the Nosferatu part of the Camarilla? I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Hmm. Loyal to the Camarilla. That wasn't an enthusiastic endorsement. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services. Or, uh... Don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I going to say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about that guy who did... Oh, no, uh, I already asked that, so... See ya. Okay. It's horrible talking to you. Obfuscate. Finally, I feel better. Now I have to get back into the sewers, do what my clan does. Uh, I I will try feeding on these red. Uh, Yeah, everything is done, everything is said, and I have to move on to the Venture Tower. From the sewers to the top. Oh god, here it goes. Yeah. Come here, little rats. Come, come. I will make sure you are quite clean. I mean, the water looks quite clean. It, uh... It smells. Ah, I... It's alright. I'm a monster, what should I do? Ah, here's some of you. Nope. Okay, get yourself together, Beata. Ah... Uh, Okay, okay. I won't leave. I will take this. It tastes good, yes. And the other one. If they are dirty, I can't tell. Like better than chicken. I think I need a special map to navigate these horrible waters. Uh, this could be it, couldn't it? Yeah, I think. Okay, off to downtown, huh?
out of the deep I emerge. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. Ow! <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes. But its I eyes. thought I could fight. I want its teeth. Camarilla, fuck. <laughs> Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Nines! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? He's gonna save me again. This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble he sure looks. seems to like you. Ha. <sighs> Good effort. Cool. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. And Name's Nines. Look... Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. You should stick to the sewers. Uh, 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 you... Oh, I remember you from the court. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. I'll try. Nines looks like someone I would have dated when I was human. And now... He wants me in the sewer. That's my place, huh? Uh, what do I do now? I think uh, I go to the... to La Croix. He killed my sire, and I really like that. Oh, there's a map. Okay. Ah. Uh. Difficult. Oh, I am where I need to be. There's the building, number six. Okay. A vampire tower? Let's get in there. Ah, oh, this is better than a sewer. You, you stay back now. I, I don't know what you are, but... You best go back to wherever it is she came from, huh? I'm serious now. I must see Lacroix. Mr. Lacroix's got no appointment scheduled for any goblins. Uh, you best get going before I call for backup or a tabloid. All right, I'll go. It is Lacroix. You idiot. Lacroix. Ah. Oh, I... I see. I need to use the sewers, I think. Damn! Nosferatu do like sewers, I guess. Uh, I don't want to do that now. Um, wait a second. Something... What do we have here? Number 11. <laughs> There's no number 11 on this. Huh. The green door. 
and what is that? Baby sail? Huh. Who's shooting? Oh, is that the mystical sun? I remember. Okay, I know. Primaire? Huh. What is there? Traumaturgical creatures. Traumaturgical creatures. Oh, the uh, homunculi at last. Uh, gargoyles. Hmm, strange. Everything exists. <laughs> I mean, is it better to be turned into a gargoyle? Or a Nosferatu? Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are? Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Thanks. What ex exactly is a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here, as do apprentices from time to time. Cool. And you're a regent? What is that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any okay, further. Okay, okay. Okay, what can you tell me, Max? What's going on Let in downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around That's you. That's what I'm Remember doing here. Remember that well. Mm, I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yeah? Why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Hmm. Maybe I could look into the epidemic for you? Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. I'll do it. We'll figure out what you owe me when I return. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. I remember that. Um, I have a few more questions. What is it you would like to know? Tell me about the Camarilla. The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? Are all vampires a part of the Camarilla? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Hmm. Yeah, good thing Nines Rodriguez was there to help me out. 
Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Twice. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. You're probably right. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Your purposes? Aren't your purposes and the princes the same? The Croix is a prince, neonate, and a ventrue on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. It's all right. You can trust me. What is the uh, your true opinion? Mm. Well, without saying too much, I think that Sebastian Lacroix lacks the usual discretion necessary to be a prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. Really? Perhaps you think you can do a better job? <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. In that order? <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. <sighs> I need to go see her next. Yeah, I will do very, very good. I'm so happy. The art died. The art needs to go. I'm not the art anymore. The art was a model. I'm a killer. And an agent. Being an agent is not bad. Uh, and being a killer, yeah, I have to get my anger sorted at some point. Killing is not a bad option. <laughs> it's a very bad option, but uh, I have to. I'm a vampire. Let's not call it killer, let's call it vampire. And there, I think, the last round. Yes. Okay. Lacroix is not here. But Jack. Hi, Jack. Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. How's Santa Monica, kiddo? I didn't get to do much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? You could say that, yes. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? Yeah. What? You saying that's just me? No, no, <laughs> not just you. <laughs> I ran into nines. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> He said you guys left those sabatko too. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of fun? How come he keeps helping me? Well, well he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. How do you think the sabat found me? Coming into town through the sewers. Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? Ah, uh, you really think that's possible? Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is gonna be watching you so closely, knowing where you're going and all you. that? Why would Lacroix Help the Sabbath. I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbath. I know he ain't. 
but he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabbat would pick up on it. Uh, just chew on that. I guess I wouldn't put it past him? It's how the Camarilla works, kiddo, trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. That's what I call dirty politics. Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer and keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. Yeah. Yeah, silly old me. You don't follow his rules? Ha 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 ha! Ah, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. Why did the prince send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Okay. I don't get it. Why did he want to kill me? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. So how come I st I'm still standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Ventura are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Is Lacroix a threat of nines? I thought he was the boss. Lacroix is the boss of the Camarilla in LA. That's it. <laughs> Lacroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. And you, strong man? You're not part of the Camarilla? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. That's does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the Anax. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? How long has the Anax movement existed? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement, about our struggle. What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? It's good to know your history. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy, but some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. How can you win? Maybe. Does Nines feel the same way? You bet, kid. Is he in charge here? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. What about the rest of Nines' crew? Chaos seems a bit hard to control. I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. Mm, peace. Okay, bye, Jack. Thanks. Mm, okay, you look angry. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, post a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? Funny, is Nines Rodriguez around here? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your welcome. I'm skipped. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Yeah, right. You got a few minutes to talk? What's up? I'm looking for work. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. She's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What's her name? Her name is Pat. She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Why don't you just tell her that he's gone? Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Damn junkie. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. Uh, what kind of heat are you talking about? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. Hmm. Alright, so about your little petty problem? She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. 
she's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep our little secret, you hear? I do it to uphold the masquerade, I guess. All right, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's sight. Just let me know when it's done. I'll find her and take care of it. Uh, see ya. Hmm. Good problem. There he is. And a girl. Pretty one. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You've got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Aren't you part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example. Stupid question. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. And so what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Anarch free state? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Interesting. didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Have you tried meeting with the Camarilla? I got their meeting right here. Hmm. Not a fan of the prince, huh? The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Sounds like you're the prince of the Anax. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. One more question. Any advice you can give me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One... You get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. About fighting, can you teach me how to fight? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can Thanks. tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Thanks for all the hard nines. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okay. I'm happy about that, I guess. But uh, they all look at me. You have to look at me, huh? With your eye. Old and mighty. Sabat chased you in here, Cammy. What are you talking about? Uh, bitch? <laughs> Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? I... <sighs> What the fuck's your problem? Oh, ho, ho. you want to know what my problem is? All right, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. What do you mean by cape? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders. The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. 
What alternative do I have? You want an alternative? Being here, that's a step in the right direction. I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since LaCroix rolled in. The Tremere region says an Anak is responsible for the local epidemic. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised Nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! What's a plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough get sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Yeah, I've seen them. So how do you get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearers gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. The Anax helped me out before. Where do I start? One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. I'll go check it out. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I'll ask around. I'll ask around by them, so. Okay. Oh, my mouth feels so. Ah. Are these people looking at me? Oh, my jaw. What's up? I'm out of here. Bye. Oh. Okay, let's go not talk for a while. Where do I go? Um, the Skyline Apartments? Okay. CDC? It's like a heavy weight has been lifted. Too many people are looking at me, are having questions, and I can't answer. There they are. I need to go through there? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Who is shooting here? Stupid humans. Uh, okay, let's try this. I can't be seen. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Yeah, out of here. I take the long way around. the tower. I come to you later. Hmm. Okay, bus stop over bus stop. I do want to get in this alley. Um. This uh, dude in the yellow shirt, I think someone mentioned he's a, a trader. Huh. Dark alley? Perfect. Let's see if he runs away and screams. Not in that order, but you get the point. Okay, no, 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 crouch. 
damn, me! Don't be sneaking up on a brother with your crackhead skin disease test tube baby looking ass! Damn near shit my pants! I don't sell no soap, so what the hell you want? You sell things. What do you sell? Take a look! But I ain't got no rock, so I know you ain't interested. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Funny guy. I might have to keep. Oh, what is this? Heavy clothing? My stuff? The stuff I'm already wearing? But better? More protection? Let's see. Okay. Oh, I've got lots of stuff. Use it. Yeah, it makes me harder to kill. That's nice. Uh, the same as I had before. Not bad. Okay. Say Larry. now, Wonder Girl. Seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? So? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, that's your business. Okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action, Zar. All right? I'm listening. Hey. I could use a Halloween-looking S&M gremlin like huh. yourself to help pull some people out of some loot for me. You still with me? Well, I'll get to the point. Yeah, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam size bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? Sounds like a good deal for you. I want a discount at your store. Yo, baby, why you gotta shake me down like that? If I hadn't just got my foot out of cast, I'd do it myself, but... Sure. Yeah, it's got to be that way. Fine. You got a discount. But only after I get the briefcase. Deal. I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? No, I'm ready right now. I'll be back. I'll be back. Mm. Be happy I don't make holes into you. I have to go to the Skyline Apartments first. Check out what's about the school. Um, this looks nice. Ah, uh, I don't know. I better not get in there. Huh. How do I get in there? Sewers? So, uh...